Today I am tissue culturing my variegated Phalaenopsis orchids. They are absolutely gorgeous. This particular variety is called Phalaenopsis Sogo Vivian Leaf's Edge. I ordered pre-mixed orchid multiplication media from Phytotech. This media is specifically designed for flower stem propagation of Phalaenopsis and Dendrobium orchids. It already contains MS, agar, sucrose, and a few plant growth regulators, or at least BA. Here's the full ingredient list, pause read it if you're interested. I also purchased orchid maintenance and replate medium. After I have them in multiplication for a month or so, I'll probably keep transferring them into new multiplication media, but eventually to help with rooting, I'm going to be putting them into this orchid maintenance and replate media. I'm making half a liter of media in total, so the instructions on the orchid multiplication media call for 32.3 grams per liter. So I just divided that by two, so 16.15 grams. The only thing I added that wasn't already included in the pre-mixed media was one milliliter per liter of PPM or plant preservative mixture. This is just going to help reduce the contamination of my media. So I divided that by two, so I used half a milliliter of PPM. I calibrated my pH meter, which is my least favorite part of the process. I don't know why, I just hate doing it. Um, I always feel like it's not going to be accurate. I don't know, I do not trust my pH meter. I adjusted the media to a pH of 5.8. I let the media heat and mix on the magnetic stirrer. It's important to use heat during this process to get everything to combine and dissolve properly. I did this for about 20 minutes and I had it get pretty hot, but I, I would have done it for longer next time because not everything in my media combined as well as I wanted it to when I pulled it out of the autoclave this morning. I filled 10 jars with approximately 50 milliliters of media each. I actually just got 50 milliliter pipettes so I can be more accurate about this, but I don't have the pipette pump yet so I wasn't able to do it, but I think I eyeballed it pretty well. <laughs> um, I autoclaved the media for 20 minutes at 15 psi because I live at sea level and I let it cool off before using it. For a full tutorial on how to use a pressure cooker as an autoclave, I actually have a video about that right here, and I'm planning a video specific to tissue culture media as well. But if you follow that video and you're using it for tissue culture media, it works exactly the same as autoclaving water. I also autoclaved everything that was going to be underneath the laminar flow hood, so things like water, paper towels, empty containers, scissors, forceps, etc. <laughs> I'm cutting a flower scape into nodal sections to use as my explants. It does make me kind of sad to do this because I'm not going to get them to flower, like I'm going to miss out on the flowers, but these flowers are just plain purple Phalaenopsis flowers, so I'd like to think that I'm not missing out on much to be completely honest. Being as careful as possible, I'm also going to remove the scale that covers the node on the flower scapes. I agitate the explants in distilled water with a drop of between 20, and then I'm going to soak the explants in a solution of 1 to 2 bleach and distilled water, which makes me so nervous because I feel like that's a really high concentration of bleach, and I've had issues with tissue death in the past, but I've also had problems with explant contamination from not cleaning plants well enough. Cleaning the plants is so challenging. It's really easy to overclean the plants. Um, and then get tissue death, and it's also easy to underclean them and get contamination, and both of those things result in no baby plants, so they're equally bad. I'm going to rinse the nodal sections in three changes of distilled water. You often see this in instructions. And then I'm going to make clean cuts on both ends of each nodal section so that I'm cutting off the dead tissue that had died um, in the bleach solution. After I do that, I'm going to do a second sterilization in a mixture of 10% bleach and 90% distilled water. I've never done a second sterilization before, but that is what was recommended in my book, so I'm just going to try it out and see how it goes. I do another triple rinse in distilled water to get that remaining bleach solution off of the plants before I place them into the tissue culture jars using my forceps. Um, I just repeat this process over and over until all my jars are filled. And then I'm going to give these jars a photo period of 16 hours a day at between 150 to 200 foot candles of light. Ideally I'd keep the jars between like 75 and 79 degrees, but my house sits around 73 to 74 on a normal day. 
Um, so the orchids will just have to deal with that, sorry. I'll make an update video about a month from now to show you how the multiplication of these orchids is going. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe if you're not already.